In this video we're going to be looking at factorising non-monic quadratics where a and c are prime. Um, and in this, with this method, it's easier to factorise than using the AC method, um, but it takes a little bit of practice and just getting used to, to what works. So if we look at the first one, in all of these examples, a and c are both prime numbers. Um, and it, if they're a prime number, the only factors are 1 and itself. So that means that we know that for this first one, um, inside the bracket is going to be a 2x and a 1x, because that's the only combination that will make 2. And then also, we know that, well, we know they're both positive because both of these are positive, and we also know that these numbers are either going to be a 1 or a 5. The only challenge is to find where they are placed, whether the 5 is here or whether the 5 is here. And the way we work that out is by looking at the B term. So this B term is 11. If I put 1 here, 1 times 2 is um, 2, and 5 times 1 is 5, five so I would get 7 overall. That doesn't work. So if I flip them around, if I put the 1 here and the 5 here, 2 times 5 is 10x plus 1x, which will give me 11x. Um, and that's, that's basically how you do it. It gets a little bit more complicated when you've got some negatives in there, but we can still still try them. So we've got 3x squared, so we're going to have a 3x and an x. And because c is negative, it means one is going to be positive, one is going to be negative. Um, and the numbers are going to be either 1 or 7. Now, looking at this, it looks like we're going to have minus 1, and positive 7. The reason I thought that is because this is quite a big number and the biggest number we could get would have been by doing 3 times 7 and that would give us 21 and then take away 1 which gives us 20. Uh, let's look at the third one. I've just realized there's a mistake in this one. This shouldn't be minus 12, this should be minus 56. So if we excuse that, that should be minus 56x. Um, and let's have a look at how this works. So we've got 5x, so we're going to have 5x and x. And then the two numbers are going to be 1 and 11. And we know that they're both going to be negative because this is positive and this is negative. So two negatives added together would give us a negative, And when they multiply, would give us positive. Um, we just need to work out the order in which they are, where the 1 is and where the 11 is. Um, in this case, it looks like the... Um, 11 is in this bracket and the 1 is in this bracket uh, because 11 times 5 is minus 55 and minus 1 gives us minus 56 and then the final one we've got 2x and we've got x AC here is not prime um, so that is another error, that should be 7, apologise about that again. And so the numbers are either going to be 1 or 7, we just need to work out in which order they are, and which one's positive and which one's negative. Um, we know that one's positive, one's negative, because C is negative. So if we did 2 times minus 7, that would give us minus 14, and then add 1, which would be multiplying these two together. Um, that would give us minus 13. So that is the correct factorization for this expression.